What's up guys, it's Triple and Maximilian back again with another video. Today I'm here with my brother in the beautiful country on, of Slovakia. We're gonna be showing you the top five best cow stanks exercises to get that Dorito looking body. The main thing you need to know to get that Dorito looking shape is you need to be focusing on the shoulders, the chest, the back and the abs to get that V-line cut. And that's gonna come down to your diet and the types of exercises you're doing. So let me show you what you need to do. So guys, for our first advanced full body workout, we are targeting our chest, our back, our arms, and our shoulders with this one. So Max here is using an overhand grip and he's pulling as high as he can into around his top ab portion. And from that position, he's changing his elbows and he's dipping. So it's a two part movement. He's pulling high, as high as you can, and then you lean forward and dip and that's your muscle up. Now the next advanced Kyle Stanks exercise that you're going to be doing is the handstand push-up. The handstand push-up is perfect for that Dorito looking body because it's going to get those shoulder cuts and after muscle up it's the perfect thing to do. So guys this exercise right here is called the dragonfly. What Max is doing here he's pulling as hard as he can engaging his core and making sure he's in a straight line. This exercise is perfect for engaging the core, pulling strength and it will get you that aesthetic V shape that you want for that Dorito shaped body. The next advanced Kyle Sank exercise that you're going to be doing is explosive push-ups, killing it with diamond push-ups. Now, it's very hard to get an advanced chest exercise without having rings or additional weight. So you're gonna use your body's leverage and you're gonna get the explosive strength up there and then you kill it with a variation of the diamond. So you're gonna be coming here and pushing up, coming here and pushing up, which gets those shoulder cuts and that upper chest, which is gonna make you look like a Dorito. So guys, with this L-sit pull-up, Max is engaging his entire back, including his lats and his rear delts and his biceps. But what really makes this exercise is that very clean L-sit hold that he is holding that engages his entire abdominal area. Perfect for that B that we want and that wide back. Now you made it to the top five best intermediate exercises and you're going to start off with chest to bar pull-ups. Now the chest to bar pull-up is a degression from the muscle up, but you're still getting half of the muscle up movement where you're pulling up to the chest and going back down. Pulling up to the chest, going back down. It's gonna help you with the advanced skills and it's gonna engage the entire body, which is gonna help you with your body goals. This right here is your pike push-up. This exercise is wonderful for sculpting the shoulders as well as engaging the glute and the abs. Here Max is moving forward as a degression to make it a little easier. But the closer you move to your feet, the harder it gets and the more it targets your shoulders. Here we're going to be doing full leg raises. But before we start, see what Max is doing with his pelvis. He's making sure everything is flexed before he even starts the leg raises. So right now he flexes everything and then he's raising his legs using only his abs and it's a very isolating type of exercise he's got going on here. But one of the best things you could do to sculpt your, your midsection and eventually get to that V. You could also go side to side to really target these obliques that he has coming out here exactly like that. Now we moved back to the chest exercise and we're gonna be doing straight bar dips. The thing with the straight bar dip is you're gonna have to go all the way down to the lower part of your chest to get that full range of motion and to hit the entire pec muscle. Once you're done with the dip, you're gonna drop down to as many push-ups as you can. The thing with the push-up and dip superset is you're taking away the weights and any other equipment you can use and you're just using your body weight. So it's gonna help you with that body shape you're looking for. Right here we have one of the most underrated pulling exercise and that's the commando pull-up. Max is using a switch grip and he's engaging his entire body by keeping his body straight. So it's very easy to turn into this commando pull-up, but you want to be pulling directly into your shoulder. So you're in a straight line, and in order to keep that straight line, his whole body has to be engaged and flexed. Now we've made it to the top five best calisthenics exercises for beginners. Now Daniel here is performing the scapula engaged chin-up. This is a perfect degression from the normal pull-up, but the little engagement in the scapula is gonna transfer over to the pronated pull-up, which is a harder variation. Engaged, dead hang, engaged, pulling up. Perfect for your biceps, your back, and your core to get the body you want. Here we have our incline push-ups. The incline push-up is great for targeting this lower part of your chest. 
It's also a little bit easier than a regular push-up or let's say a decline push-up because you're much more elevated. And we're gonna be actually supersetting these kind of push-ups with a digression of the pull-up, which is called an Australian pull-up. So here, Max has his legs closer to the bar, which makes these pull-ups a lot more easier. But as soon as he puts these legs further back and he's more horizontal, makes it a lot harder. And you wanna be making sure you are pulling up to this chest, this lower chest region, as he is here. The lower the bar, the harder it is. Max right here is doing something very similar. So he's engaging his lower abs with that pelvic turn inwards and then he's bringing his knees all the way up which is definitely a regression from your standard l -sit. and he could also move his knees sideways like he's doing here to really target this part right here of his obliques and this is honestly a perfect formula to really engage your entire abs all your abs and get that v-line so after those knee tucks we're gonna be focusing on our grip because a large part of calisthenics that people tend to neglect is that grip strength. Max is using uh, just an overhand grip, but you could also switch that grip to this right here, which is your fingers, and that will also target more of your forearms as well. And that's gonna complete the superset. There you have it, the top five best exercises to get at the real trade back, or let me say top 15 exercises. Thank you to Daniel and myself for explaining the video. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. We're still trying to hit 50K by end of the summer. So more content to come. Let's go. Peace. Peace. I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids screaming in the crate.